Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome to this match day vlog and welcome to the wonderful city of Waterford. Waterford FC at the RSC are going to take on Shelburne in the FAI Cup semi-final. Really looking forward to this now, to be honest with you. Um, Waterford, obviously, real good field factor around. There's pigeons everywhere at my feet. Trying to put me off in this video. <laughs> uh, real good field factor around the club since Andy Piley uh, took over. It's great to see. I always felt with Waterford, um, there's great potential there if it could be harnessed properly. There's a real feeling it could be harnessed properly now, I think. Um, I really believe so. Um, and that's manifested onto the pitch. Obviously, they've done brilliantly in the league of late. They've managed to get ahead of Galway. They're right behind Cork. Obviously, Cork are champions, but to get that close to Cork, you wouldn't have thought it earlier in the season. The cup itself, um, some great wins away to St. Pat's and a home to Dundalk. Both those teams are battling. Uh, for Europe in the league, so they're strong teams in the in the League of Ireland Premier Division. I believe that Waterford have got a lot of Premier Division quality. Yes, they're first division club. They don't feel like it, do they? Phoenix Junior, Dara Perr, Nyla Keith, all 100% Premier Division players and good Premier Division players at that as well. As for Shelburne, Matty Smith coming back to play against uh, Waterford, which will, which will be interesting. What reaction he gets at the RSC? Uh, Sean Boyd. Is a player that can cause a lot of problems. We've got Shane Farrell, Jack Moylan, all good attacking threats as well. So, really looking forward to this. I think it's going to be an entertaining one. Um, Billy, how are you calling this one? I think it's going to be one all, and then an extra time Waterford are going to win it two one. Interesting stuff. Yeah, Shelburne. That's for Shelburne. Um, obviously, the Hammer Bowls three 0 to get here. I have to get that in in case anyone's watching and hasn't watched the channel before. But Billy supports Bohemians. But um, yeah, some mad games in the league as well. They've had 4-4 draw uh, with St. Patrick's Athletic lately and that 3-2 defeat to Shamrock Rovers where they should have got something or could have got something at least out of the game as well. So let's hope for an entertaining one. Really looking forward to this. Uh, at the end of the video, we're going to rate the atmosphere. We're going to give a man the match as well. We'll be in uh, the water for the end. So uh, really looking forward to this one and we'll see you soon. Apparently a Waterford Ultra for the day. Look at this. So that's just in the RSC now. A couple of things about the RSC. It was built in 1992. Waterford moved here in the 93-94 season. The record attendance actually is an FAI Cup semi-final. Uh, guess what? Waterford FC. It was Waterford United at the time. And Shelburne in 1997. And that was in an FAI Cup semi-final as well. But Shelburne won. So that's interesting as well. Um, Waterford wearing Kil Kilcoyne Park or Kilcoyne Park before this as well, so uh, it's got a running track. Capacity is about 5,100 ish, uh, seating just over 3,000 as well. So, um, yeah, it's, um, it's a lovely pitch though. It's one of the nicest pitches in the country, I have to say. It's up there, definitely the actual pitch. Just show you that now in a minute.
So guys, we finished Warford FC, Neil Shelburne won at the RSC and um, a very, very windy RSC, I might say. More windy than I thought it was uh, watching the game. But um, yeah, we're going to rate the atmosphere, give our man the match and quick thoughts on the game as well. Uh, rate the atmosphere, Billy. 10 out of 10. Ooh, he's giving a 10 out of 10. Yeah. We don't always give 10 out of 10s. We don't give them that easily. Yeah, the atmosphere is fantastic, um, you know, for most of the game, particularly in the first half and that, uh, obviously, you know, in the last 15 minutes, people are getting anxious when their team are one down. But uh, 10 out of 10, very good. Man, the match I thought was very difficult because I thought it was more of a, you know, Shelburne put in a really good kind of team performance. Nothing kind of special in terms of individuals hanging out. But I decided to give it to Mark Coyle. I thought um, he defended well, he got on the ball well. And um, I suppose led by example that Shelburne midfield. Thoughts on the game quickly. I think Waterford were disappointing, if I'm honest with you. I think Shelburne completely controlled the game. First half, they scored. Uh, Gavin Malloy, very good finish. And after that, they had a plethora of opportunities in the space of about 10 minutes where they hit the bar. Sean Boyd forced a good save. It was the post. Sean Boyd forced a good save as well. And there was another chance as well. Um, and then in the second half, they decided to sit back 
and uh, Waterford just couldn't break through. They just couldn't um, penetrate. They just couldn't find a way through. There wasn't one really good chance in that for Waterford. One thing they kept doing, which I didn't like for, from my point of view, was they kept... They did. They were playing a lot of long ball. And in that wind, I, I don't understand it, to be honest with you, especially. Um, I understand sometimes I've seen Waterford play direct ball and they get Phoenix and Junior and lads like that in behind. Shelburne, that doesn't really work. Shelburne generally defend in a fairly low block as well. So that doesn't really work normally when you play Shelburne, particularly when you go behind. And, you know, you were trying, looking for them to get the ball through the lines, Waterford, and that. They weren't really doing it. As a result, they didn't create anything. Uh, Phoenix did try hard in the game, but I think they'd be disappointed with the performance. Some might think the occasion got them a little bit. Very professional performance with Shelburne, and they go into the final now. It's funny because I had a weird, weird feeling to make the final at the start of the year. Um, they won't be easy beating the final either, so that's going to be interesting. Um, guys, look, we're going to leave the vlog there from the RSC. Uh, really enjoyed our trip down, I have to say. Um, thanks for Waterford. Um, very accommodating, but also uh, very welcoming, welcoming as well. So uh, that's about it. What should people do, Billy? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit your push notification bell button. Bell notification button. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah, what's well, the bell notification button? So just so people know what it means. But yeah, for more videos. And Billy got a present from Waterford. See you later. Bye bye.